always have such a messy bit on camera? I can inform you that this video is 85% improvised. Before we begin, I just want to say that yesterday we saw the Falsettos Theater, and oh my god, it was so crazy, and it was, felt so surreal. I Our reaction is on the second channel. I'm so excited. Hey guys, this is Anthony. Oh, hmm, should I change the intro? It's become muscle memory to say, hey guys, this is Anthony, and welcome back to another video. And it's a great intro, but should I make something more unique, like greetings from the world of Anthony? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Hey guys, this is Anthony and welcome back to another video and I decided to do a little thing Maybe this might be a series. I don't know, but it's gonna be called Story time with Anthony where I pretty much just tell a bunch of stories from my ch Younger childhood. I'm still my child Sports I love sports in fact I pretty much liked everything you would think a stereotypical little boy to like sports pirates superheroes knights I mean, I still do love them, but as a kid, I was obsessed. In fact, under my bed, there is a big box full of a lot of stuff I had. Oh my god, this is so dusty. Glitter, you've been under my bed for too much. She's next to the camera looking at me like, you woke me up for that. It's okay, Glitter, go back to sleep. My Captain Feather Sword hat. A sword that's broken. A samurai sword. Oh! Come here, Glitter. I should not play with this. Oh! This is super glued for a reason. Oh! Bop it! Bop it! Score 22. Score 100. It just started by itself. Lightsaber! Boxing glove! Even though I love sports, I was not good at it. I would play tiba, I kept knocking everything over, and then I would put my glove over my face and go. I also played soccer, but it got so competitive. I had a friend who was on the other team of me, and we played soccer. All the kids were after the ball. We were just like kind of behind them going like, let's join the kids. And then when he fell down, I'd just be like, Come on, get back up so he can follow them. One time after one round, the kid was like, you're stupid. And I was like, why? Uh, because you have the teeth. <laughs> uh, well, you, you, you do too. But I do know what he means. I have a massive overbite. But I was good at one very good sport, and that was dodgeball. We only played with softballs. It wasn't really because I was necessarily good. It was, I was very lucky. I had so many close calls, and whenever I found a ball, I just gave it to the people who were really good at throwing. I never threw. And if they caught the ball, you were out. One time I fell on the ground, and then a ball went like this. Whoosh. I felt the wind go against my chest, but it did not touch me. And then it would get down to me being the last person on my team against all those people on the opposite team. And good for me for getting that far, but I wasn't throwing anything. And everybody was like, Anthony, throw the ball! <laughs> and I threw it, and someone caught it, and I lost. See what I mean? Why I don't throw the ball? There's actually a lot of funny school stories. In fact, I was a great writer in my class. I had to write journal entries of what we did, and I'm really glad I did now because I have them over there, and there's a lot of great stories in there, and a lot of wrong spelling. But I wrote a lot of autobiographical stories in there about like school misadventures I had. For example, the book I have is in this folder somewhere. <gasps> oh! I just found this in here. What did this happen? Hey, I'm Anthony. How are you doing? Oh my god, the things you find in the school folder. <laughs> here it is. The Ace Chase by Anthony Rosenthal. I'll give some backstory. It was at a time when I was in first grade at school. I was playing with a basketball that read Ace. That meant it belonged with Ace. Ace was a school I went to at the time. But then a girl slash stranger in... I'll change the name of the school here. I, uh, uh, Playbill crossed her arms and looked directly at me. She said, put that ball back. She did not look like this though. I asked her why and she told me that the ball was an after school program. So yeah, she thought that ACE stood for after school program. She then started walking towards me and I did what you would do normally. I, I ran, not a good choice, but then a kid also from Playbill stood up for me, and that was great. And he was like, hey, 
give him the ball back. No, because it's for after school program. He started chasing me as well. So I was being chased by two. Here's a picture. Hey, give him the ball back. But it's after school program. But then my friends from my school started blocking them. I started like a war going on during recess. I had two kids chasing me and two kids blocking them. Holy moly, that's intense. I just ran over to the yard duty. I told her that she's taking the ball and I didn't do anything wrong. Oh my God, this is the picture. The yard duty apparently has no face. <sighs> But she understood what happened. And I lived happily ever after. The end. I have been filming for 21 and a half minutes. I will try to cut this down a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye. One more thing before I leave. I found this amazing word of Anthony from a fanzine. So I'm going to put it up on the wall right now. Here seems like a good place.